Welcome everyone, myself Sangeeta Bhondare, working as an application engineer at BCOM. Today in this webinar, I'm going to show you what are the technical communication challenges, terms during work, and how to beat those challenges with the help of technical documentation, which can be created with the help of SOLIDWORKS Composer. Okay, uh, first of all, let me tell you what is technical documentation. It is a document of the product of technical writing that refers to different documents with product related information. Technical documentation is created in our various industries, for example, in engineering, medical, IT, and many more. You may imagine that documentation is just dry text that people with relevant education can read and understand. But it's not true. Nowadays, documentation is more than text like the videos, maps, chats diagrams and other visual elements. You will realize it when you go through this uh, webinar, okay? So, uh, before start, let me uh, show you the importance of 3D CAD data in technical documentation. Here you can see the two images. In the first image, the procedure of assembling the component is written, while as in the second image, the procedure of assembling is shown with the help of 3D CAD data. That means the second image is more effective to understand and so the 3D CAD data is preferable for communication. We will see one more example of uh, use of 3D CAD data in the technical uh, documents. Here you can see the first image which is captured by the camera. Also to capture the image, cameraman must bend to the shop floor, then he must have taken the help from two, three people. And also, he must have stopped the work of those people to complete his work. Even after doing all this hard work and after taking the help from others, the results are not up to the mark. On the other hand, to create these maps from the 3D CAD data, we don't require cameras for setup for the camera, don't require manpower. Also, we are not interrupting the others' work. And the results we are getting are perfect, effective, and high in quality and same can be used for the marketing. So it is clear that the second way is far better than the first one. Next in the slide, you can see the user manual of the power painter spray. Uh, the manual contains the stepwise procedure to clean up the container. Also they have given the warning and uh, caution. Also they have given the warning uh, should be taken during the cleanup. It is very easy to read the manual who are uh, aware of the respective uh, language, but not for those who are unaware, right? For such people, the animation is the correct way of passing the information because animation has no language barrier. Uh, you can see the... You can see the animation of the same product explaining the procedure to clean up the container. The animation are useful for the complex products where video shooting is completely not feasible. Also, this is the unique approach of communication which catch up the pace in the diverse industries with the marketing teams to communicate the product concept and the operations to the potential buyers. This manual and mostly animation reduce the repetitive work of explaining the procedures of the product to the customer or any one. Uh, let's have a look on the traditional uh, method of uh, technical communication. First, what we do, we create 3D CAD data, then we snap the pictures, then of course, editing takes place to achieve the requirements. Then it's taken for the publication, then comes the final output like PDF or whatever the format. Up to this, it is slightly okay. It takes time, but it is okay. The hectic work comes when design change takes place. Because when design changes, we have to repeat all those steps to republish the document. I think it's a little bit uh, headache, isn't it? There are many other challenges too in this method. It is uh, It takes more time than required time. It uh, doesn't give the richer document which could be used for the marketing, the product, and all these challenges are automatically affects the business. To defeat these challenges, today I'm introducing you the Solidworks Composer where you can do the work faster, where you can 
work parallelly with the 3D CAD modeling. Also, it cuts the cost. And of course, SOLIDWORKS Composer are capable of creating the documents like uh, assembly instructions, user manual, field instructions, and many more things. Uh, let's move on to the next slide. This is the scenario of the resume builder created in SOLIDWORKS Composer. The 360 degree is created for the better understanding. This assembly is uh, very complex to capture the photos and video shooting in practical. Of course, because of its size and the function. This is an output from the composer. Uh, let's see what is composer. Let's have a look of the composer. Let's take a sub-assembly for this. This is a sort of uh, user interface having different different tools for the editing. Let's open the file. So does uh, composer support the various type of files? Okay, let's open the file. This is the user interface. Then we can rotate the mo model. Then we have a rendering option. There are uh, different different type of mode. You can select the mode as per your application. Uh, I'll select uh, the UE mode which I require. Let's select the smooth with outline. Then we have uh, lighting option inside the solid. That is one advantage we have. Then also we have property tab for the each graphical element. We can change the property of the uh, elements we, we use. Then we can change the background as per our requirement. We can zoom in, zoom out this page for the better understanding. Yes, of course, uh, then we can export the uh, component of that assembly in the composer. That is one advantage. Then we can activate any way uh, Any time, let's activate this view. This is the default view. Uh, we will create one view, and that view will be added uh, will be added in our work document. Let's create the explode view. We will use pre drag. Pre drag. What does it uh, explode the component? Okay, you can place at any pl uh, place in the graphics area. See, you can see on the left side there is camera option. On the single click, on single click, it will create the new view. Let's go back to the default view. Then with the composer, we can create the interactive part list, which is useful. Then balloon also can be done. Yes, of course, we can uh, show the component which are not easily visible by the eyes. So we can zoom it and we can apply different different properties to the that uh, image. We have option like the digger. Then it has many properties. You can zoom as much as you want. Okay. Top link property. You can capture that Im image. And then you can place anywhere you want on the graphics area. You can resize also. Okay, then this uh, you can save or don't save if you don't want. This is the exploded view created. You can add the magnetic lines also. We will save all the changes. This is the file contains all the views. Now we can save all the pictures in different file as a different file. Okay, we will select all the views and we will save all the views at once. No need to uh, save each uh, image. That's the advantage we have. Uh, we will go back to, uh, we will uh, open the Word file and we will add that view just we have created. Let's open the Word file. Here's the word file. We have added few views. Such uh, uh, manual you can create with the help of Composer. We will add that view. Okay. This is a normal process with a little bit different option. Let's see that what it is. We will go to the insert tab, then picture. Okay. 
let's come one line down okay select the picture select the location where you have saved okay here it is then select the view and before inserting you have to click on the drop down arrow and select the insert and link button that means it will keep the uh, link with the word document okay then save the file now let's see if design changes take place and how to uh, do that with an ace okay let's uh, suppose we have changed uh, design change and we have done that and we have to update the design change in the word document okay these ribs have been added we can check that all the views have got updated let's save all the views it we have successfully saved that file we'll visit back to the word document because we have to update that too okay it's opening we have old design still because we have not updated the link so for updating the link we have to go in the info tab there we have to edit the links and here's the all the images that contains in the word document we have to click each and every image and click on update view after updating go back to the word document check that it has been updated or not yes it has updated successfully okay this is the one advantage we have let's move on then with the help of in uh, sort of composer we can uh, create any type of interactive type technical communication document like animation operational uh, procedure part list online experiences and many more let me show you the one pdf created with the help of composer here is the uh, pdf i mean a uh, technical documentation file of resume booter it contains about 500 pages with different different information contains this is the volta 770 okay uh, component contains several pieces of the information such as uh, diagrams um, shows the operational characteristic including radius and uh, height restriction and uh, so many breakdown of the parts and so many things such data is useful for the new joiners or employees to learn the product details like uh, inspection method uh, of the product for quality department assembly sequence or maintenance procedure for the production department and also you can create the packaging or uh, packing or handling details of the component for the store department such thing uh, things make our work easy okay then let me show you the procedure of the replacement of the part okay let's take a sub assembly of the resume bolta okay this is not the static 2d image you can see there is much more than that in fact you can rotate a model uh, and zoom in to the key area okay we are focusing including creative interactive purchase this for the replacement part okay so let's see and take a look uh, replacement part guides when uh, click on image panel this is the image and uh, when we click it will bring us on another image here you can see the interactive part list when we hover over and uh, on the name of the part right away it will show the exact part where it is located uh, we can click on it to take further down into the assembly okay let's click on the knuckle assembly we can go ahead and drill, uh, drill down until we get the component in which uh, we are interested like i am interested in this expander pen okay uh, and, and i got the correct uh, item so uh, you can rotate and check that it is correct item that i am looking for and after that i can add to uh, cut this uh, component okay 
in this way uh, you can use sardus composer this will help customers buyers before buying component also they will get clear idea or clear information of the component they are looking okay let's uh, now uh, check the how to create maintenance procedure with the help of sardus composer let's take a same assembly okay uh, before said that this looks like a 2d image but you can rotate around okay next let's uh, navigate the images to see the procedure okay it is a maintenance procedure for maintenance we need to uh, uh, perform the uh, correct step in the sequence also okay so uh, uh, when we uh, click on the arrow it navigate and it will show the stepwise information right uh, you can see sardus composer is the uh, combination of uh, colors then arrows or uh, then textual callouts to make it extremely clear okay uh, we will go through the process to see how to disassemble the cylinder from the assembly right and okay and it has been removed from the assembly for the maintenance purpose such technical documents uh, create with the help of composer will help to the engineers to know the maintenance procedure uh, that too without seeking the help from the colleague and of course as data saves time and can control the transfer of the incorrect data further okay let's come back to the ppt uh, let me show you how to publish uh, data online or uh, how to create web based catalog for the customers uh, let's take a example so let's we have already created here it contains the number of views that we are adding on the web as a web catalog then we have animation 2 now we will add all the animation and the images so go to the publish then we have option public publish to html under the html output click the full and let's save the file full means it will select all the views and animation okay go now go back to the uh, location where we have said and let's check it that it has been created successfully or not or correct or not yes it has been created okay then we have uh, property tab standard toolbar here, here you can play the views or uh, customer play the views and uh, check out in which component they are interested see replacement instructions are there purchase component click on the arrow to navigate further then we have interactive part list on the uh, web they can access online also see the item is rotating getting the idea each and about each and every component where it is located go and navigate until we get the component we are looking for and here's the exploded view we have okay now i got the component we, I, uh, we were looking then add to the card let's play the animation online this is also useful for the companies nowadays because customer will it automatically idea without seeking for the help without asking to the anyone see the animation it's i think it's a fantastic tool we have in the sorrows composer yes uh, let me show you the fantastic animation created with the help of Sardis Composer to the seating system. I'll play the animation. This is the animation we have created in Composer. See this form seat has been uh, moved from its place and nicely rotated in 90 degree. Then very clearly we can see the component removing from the position one by one the 
quality is also high for the animation images. Okay. It first it is disassembling during the procedure of disassembly. Okay, then again it will show the procedure of assembling. You can see the component rotating about its uh, own. Then while rotating, uh, rotating around the other component. Such data uh, creates the impact on the customer and this is the one way to impress the customer as well. Okay. And it is done. Let's go back to the PPT. Then, hello. Then you can create the instruction for the work assembly, which reduces the product cost or product error. You can see the uh, component sequence here in this uh, slide. Then you can create the service instruction, which reduces the training cost and produces the uh, videos at lower cost. Okay. The service composer will be communicate even the most complex products. Interactive technical documentation is an innovative concept of facilitating enhanced communication with the parties associated in developing, using, maintaining, and propagating the uh, products of the uh, companies. Also, it reduces the cost required for manual photography and editing, which is good. And yes, of course, the quality images we get from the composer uh, is unbeatable. Then here yeah, the uh, customer of Beacon who are using sort of composer like John Deere, Larson Turbo, Soldier, and many more. You can see on the screen. Okay, and then there are uh, many more customers all over the India who are using the composer on a large scale. Okay, that's it. Thank you. If anyone have any question, they can ask me in the chat window. We have.